Good afternoon from Central Virginia. Welcome back to my garden. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I planted some potatoes in a very experimental bed that I made. I had a pile of wood chips that were delivered and um, I used those and used some blood meal to begin to compost them down. I put in some old spoiled hay. I put in some ancient bagged uh, topsoil that probably was like 25 or 30 years old and a few other things. I'll post the link in the description below so you can see how I built the bed. But more importantly, I had no idea whether those potatoes, which were so far gone, they were things that I had planted last year and they had just, um, they had uh, they were in the closet uh, for the, the, the winter and some of the chits on them were like two feet long. So I was like, well, all right, can I plant these and will they grow? So I wanna show you the results now about three weeks later after they were planted. So this is the bed that I just built up um, just straight on the grass. You will notice that there is no grass coming up. That's because it's got about four inches or five inches of wood chips at the bottom. But look, we've got potatoes. Lots of them have sprouted and uh, some of them are up quite far. So you can see I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, another five, six, seven, eight that have sprouted. So that's going to produce a whole bunch of potatoes as long as it goes well. My worries about this was I just had no idea um, if, this, if those potatoes were okay. And um, I am hoping that they'll grow the tubers. Of course, it's a long time before we um, harvest them, but so far, so good. So again, I'll go ahead and post a link down in the description below about how I built the bed, and uh, you, can, you can take a look. So after those potatoes get harvested, it should be a really rich and very fertile bed, and I will probably put some pumpkins in there like I did in my rootstock garden bed last year. I'll continue posting updates on this potato experiment and this particular bed, method of building a bed. So until then, do consider uh, liking and subscribing to this channel and help me grow it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.